All right, so let's recap this. This is what I used. CSI polish. This here is the Meguiar's. I noticed that the Meguiar's was leaving a little bit of haze because it's got enough of cut that uh, this black don't need it as far as the final polish. So, always remember, wipe one direction. That will keep from making a lot of scratches. Well, some people's gonna say, well, mama, I don't have a little fancy tool like that. Well, I understand. Here's a little setup from Amazon for uh, for the drill. I mean, you can buy this whole kit from Amazon. Comes with one inch, two inch, and three inch pads and put them on a drill. Now, on a circular motion on black, it's gonna leave swirls. So you'll still need to go back over it with some type of um, some type of orbital so that you can get the final halos and swirls out of it. But I understand that not everybody can have that tool, but you may have to save up uh, instead of buying that next new iPhone or that fancy set of wheels and tires for your truck. Maybe you could save up and uh, buy a little tool like that because in order to make money, you've got to spend money. So if I didn't have that little tool and the customer come in and said, well, hey, why does it look so cloudy above my trim? I say, well, I'll just, you know, I've done the best that I could do. I didn't have no, uh, no tool to make that black really look good above the trim. And he would say, really? I thought I brought it to a one-stop shop. Well, you did, but I'm not willing to spend the money to progress in life and make money or to spend money and make a good job.